Well, Bill, obviously a, a, a quick turnaround for you, two months. I mean, but I think you like to fight a lot, right? So is this kind of almost ideal for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's stay in shape. Let's let's keep this momentum going. And uh, the real reason is I have a son due in like two months. So I'm trying to get this win in, be 3-0, and and then just kind of take some time off and learn how to be a dad. Awesome. A little extra money doesn't hurt right before to get the uh, nursery yeah. all done and everything? Yeah, not at all. I just got to stay under a certain limit so I can try to uh, – Try to get that ten thousand dollars of free student loans, but we'll we'll see. Uh, all right, so we know Andre Feely was looking for an opponent for you. Was like was like that's a matchup that appealed to you, or was it more just like you said you just wanted to get a fight in? I said yes to him before he fought Brito, so I said yes. I thought we had a deal. He turned me down, I guess, uh, to fight the guy I beat, right? And then my guy knocks him out. Uh, so I've been trying to fight him. Uh, he's a name. He's someone you know. I've watched for the last ten years in the UFC, to be honest with you. Um, but now it's my time, and I'm ready to show him, you know, who's who. So kind of put a little chip on your shoulder, like knowing the way this played out. Like, bro, why did you take me the first time around? No, I mean I get it. Like, I guess I don't know if you have more clout in the UFC, you get to pick and choose a little bit more. So I'm still learning how this game works, but I don't care who it is. I just want to show out. What do you think about the matchup? As you said, you've been watching for a long time. On paper, it seems like a pretty damn entertaining fight, man. Yeah. Is that kind of what you're expecting? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, he's skilled everywhere, just like me. He's kind of built like me. Um, I'm excited for this matchup. And, and now with uh, Giga's punk ass out of this fight card, I think it's going to be a lot easier to uh, get that, that $50,000 fight of the night or performance or whatever. We'll take it. You're just never going to stop talking about Giga, are you? Yeah, I mean, none of my call-outs work, so i got to start getting, I don't know, more creative, I guess. I mean, the Battle of the Bird Chest didn't come together either. No, yeah, I know. I called out my, uh, I called out Tom Wolf, the PA governor. He don't want to fight me either. Wussies. Uh, all right, so when people talk about this, like I said, entertaining, I think, with both of your styles, but they point to Feely's experience maybe as something that might help him. Do yeah. you put any stock in that? Not really. I mean, I got experience, too. It's, it's no difference. Yeah, he's fought uh, higher-level competition for a little bit longer, but that, al that also shows in his chin, to be honest with you. You know, it's deteriorating, in my opinion. This looks like it could be, I mean, this is actually a pretty good card. I think a lot of people, the matchups themselves, but do you think kind of fight of the night possibilities or no? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're both tough, we're both durable, and we're both going to hit each other a lot, so that's got fight of the night written all over it. So, As far as, you know, uh, the win, the baby, do you know how long you went to, I mean, is that something you kind of feel out as you're going, or do you know, like, nah, I'm not fighting until March, or what's the plan? Yeah, at least, like, March, April, May. I want to take off six months, rest the body. Again, priorities, right? It's my first boy, our first kid. Uh, you know, I want to learn how sleeping works with a baby and training and recovery and all that. So it's going to be an adjustment for sure. And, you know, money's not a huge motivating factor for me, so I can wait. It's just about when I feel good and when I feel right. So uh, I just want to do well, and that means fighting on my terms. Yeah, life is definitely going to change for you, your, your sleeping schedule especially. So I hear, yeah. <laughs> well, knowing that there's going to be some time off, knowing how much you like to fight, I guess last thing for me is, what do you want to do here? I mean, do you want this to be like an epic war that people remember for six months, or would you rather go throw one punch and go home and take the check? I mean, what, what, what do you want to accomplish here? Both are good options. As long as I get my hand raised, that's all that matters. I'm going to hit him. He's going to, you know, try to hit me. We'll see what happens. Did you see his comedy special, and what did you think of his uh, skills? Uh, I did not. Um, I saw that he was doing one with like it was like him, Frankie Edgar, and a, a couple other people. But no, I didn't actually look at. That. It was actually pretty. It was actually pretty entertaining. But oh, that's uh, good. So he's got another career after this one. Well, that being said, you, you said you said. <laughs> see, boom! Hey, boom! Yeah. There it is. Get, get him and roasted on the line. There it yeah, is. boom! Roasted. Uh, you, yeah. you talked about his chin. You thought his chin was starting to go, but I mean. When you when you break them down, where are there still areas where you do still have to kind of watch for his skill set? Is is his striking still dangerous? What other? Of course, he mixes it up well. That's I think that's his best attribute. Is you know um, he trains with Ricardo Ramos, who beat me, and kind of like I kind of got in the lull of a kickboxing match, and then all of a sudden I'm getting taken down and giving up easy takedowns. So uh, I just got to be sharp everywhere and be ready to mix it up with him. But I like my chances wherever it goes. And, you know, there's some that might look at the MMA math and look at past competitors, and somebody says, well, he lost to this guy, and he beat this guy. Is it as simple as that if somebody looks and says, well, this guy obviously beat guys that he couldn't, he's going to beat? No, of course. I've been in a uh, trifecta like that, if you will, where 
Uh, I lost to Jared Gordon. Uh, I beat a guy who beat Jared Gordon, Jeff Lentz, who was on the Ultimate Fighter, um, and Lentz beat him. So it, it, it's whoever shows up that night and can perform. Um, and honestly, if me and Philly fought 10 times, who knows? Like, I might win six, seven. Like, you don't know until it happens, all right? And I guess the last thing, I guess it kind of plays off that, you know, you said whoever shows up that night, when it comes to Saturday night, what do you need to do to make sure that you get your arms raised in victory that night? Listen, I think they should change my name to Supply Chain because I'm a motherfucking problem, all right? Uh, I'm just going to do what I need to do to get that W. And however he gives it to me, I'll take it. That was awesome. Thanks. Nice.